Hi there, I'm Shane from Email Signature Rescue and in this video I'll be showing you how to install your email signature in Outlook 2016. Firstly, you want to have your HTML email signature file saved on your computer. If you're an Email Signature Rescue member, then you can download it from your dashboard or if you've had it emailed to you, then save it in a location which is easily accessible. Go ahead and open Outlook 2016 and from the top left of your toolbar, select File, scroll down and select Options. In options, you want to select mail on the left hand side up here and then click on signatures. In here, we're going to create an Outlook signature file. Click the new button and enter a name for your signature. I'm going to call mine my new signature, but this name's pretty relevant as we're going to be editing this later anyway. Press OK, select your email account and you should see that your email signature is automatically set for new messages and replies slash forwards. Press OK again. Now we go to hold the control key and click on the signatures button. As you can see here, that's opened the file explorer, which is where Outlook saves their signature files. We're going to grab the .htm file, which is essentially the one we'll be overriding, and hit delete. You now want to access your other email signature file that's been provided to you or that you've created yourself. So we'll switch through here. This is my email signature file. I'm going to right click and copy, or you can press control C. Go back to the Outlook Signatures file location and paste that in. Now we're going to give this name the exact same as the files below and the one that we also deleted. My new signature. Make sure you name yours, whatever the other two say. And then change the, change the file extension to .htm instead of .html. Press enter and confirm the file extension change. You can now switch back to Outlook 2016 click on signatures and although you'll see that your signature isn't formatting correctly it's now been installed make sure that it's selected for your new messages and forwards press ok and compose a new email as you can see our email signature has been installed correctly and we're ready to go if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like and subscribe or follow us on social media if you had any trouble installing your email signature by following this guide, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out.